All right, so for the single leg balance test, super simple test. All we're doing is timing how much time you can balance on one leg compared to the other, okay? So I want you to do in a couple rounds of this, and then you can take the average, or if you have time, the best way to do it would be to get three tests on each, look at your best two scores, and then average those out. That way, in case you have some weird one, you don't screw anything up, okay? Um, so all we're literally doing is just bringing one leg off, off the ground, balancing for time. That's it. So I'm measuring how much time max until I have to touch the ground or grab something else. I'm gonna go ahead and switch, do the same thing with the other leg. If that's too easy, if you get to 10 minutes and you're still just holding it, let's like make it a little bit harder, shut the eyes, okay? So again, bringing that foot up, it's gonna throw off what we call our proprioception, which is our body's way of knowing where it's at in space without us actually seeing it, okay? So something that is affected with any injury. So if you have an injury or if you're completely healthy, and it's just something you haven't done, it's gonna throw you off a little bit, make it a lot harder. So go ahead and do those on both sides. Get that average, it'll give you that asymmetry percentage by dividing them by each other. So we're looking at the injured side versus the healthy side. And then go ahead and type that into the, um, the ACL plan right there.